What if a giant asteroid impacted Earth tomorrow, or a deadly virus rapidly spread across the Earth before we could make a cure? Most of us probably wouldn't make it, but what if none of us made it? Would that be it for the human species? Not necessarily. There is one way to preserve the human species, and that is to move to Mars. But not all of us have to go, and that's the point. We just need to send enough to sustain a population so that if something catastrophic happens on Earth, the human species survives. But right now, no one wants to live on Mars. It has no food, very little water, the atmosphere is too thin to breathe, and it lets in UV light at levels so high they would kill most organisms, including humans. What we really need is for Mars to be more like Earth. But that's impossible, right? There's no way we could ever change the climate of an entire planet so that its global temperatures actually got warmer faster. Okay, so we actually do know how to make the Earth warmer, so why not use the same method on Mars? During the winter on Mars, there's a treasure trove of frozen carbon dioxide at the poles. So let's find a way to get that into the atmosphere to start a greenhouse effect and warm the planet, enough to thaw any frozen water into streams or lakes. By increasing the CO2 levels, we also thicken the atmosphere. And a thicker atmosphere would block a lot of that lethal UV light, allowing certain microorganisms to survive. Ideally, we would first want to send cyanobacteria to Mars, because these guys eat sunlight and belch oxygen straight into the atmosphere. Once that oxygen is in the air, it could be inhaled or combined with other oxygen atoms to build a protective ozone layer, strengthening the atmosphere even more. And when those oxygen belching bacteria die, their biological matter enriches the soil with nutrients for more complex life. This is not an entirely ridiculous idea, but there are a lot of questions that still need answers. And there are scientists at NASA working on finding those answers right now. For starters, we need to know if Mars has enough frozen carbon dioxide to generate a greenhouse effect in the first place. There might not be enough, or if there's too much, then we run the risk of making Mars too hot. Then, we have to figure out how to get that frozen CO2 into the atmosphere. Elon Musk had one suggestion, nuke the planet. The best way is drop thermonuclear weapons over the poles. You're a super villain! <laughs> but he's since retracted that idea. NASA scientist Chris McKay thinks we could put giant mirrors in orbit around Mars that would focus the sunlight onto the poles. Whether it's bombs, mirrors, or something else, it's gonna take hundreds, possibly thousands of years to pull this thing off. But if we succeed, we'll have better secured the survival of the human race.